So yesterday I thought that it would be my last leaks video for season 12 and then they released the gun balance changes, another weapon and the entire battle pass for us all to view. So let's talk about it. Straight off the bat, I'm just going to show you guys everything that is in the battle pass that they actually leaked. So here it is. At the top left, they have the epic characters with Villigan, Urban Tracker, Price and Ghost, all with their own special unique versions. Below that, it's the epic weapons, the Type 25 Infiltrate and three different black and gold skins. Over to the right hand side, we have another epic weapon, a brand new weapon, in fact, the AGR, along with two epic charms. Then below that, we have the first view of the OG version of the AGR, along with a backpack, an emo, and the new ballistic operator shield, which looks pretty spicy. And then below that, at the very bottom right, we have all of this stuff. Just kind of random things thrown in to make the battle pass more interesting, but really not the main driver of why you would purchase one. Still pretty nice though. Also, they confirmed that there would be a Desert Eagle being added as the second weapon inside of this season. As you can see, here is some Desert Eagle gameplay from Modern Warfare. It's a high damage, slow fire rate pistol, which is something we've really been needing for a while because we only have two pistols currently inside of the game, which is kind of crazy because it's been out for a year, right? You would expect that we would have some more pistols. Well, Finally, here it is. All right, let's talk about the balance changes. So straight off the bat, the Kilo Sniper or Marksman Rifle, as it's called in the game, is actually getting an attachment which will allow it to shoot incendiary rounds, pretty much meaning that once you hit someone, it will continue to damage them for some seconds after as they will be on fire. Yeah. I don't know about this one. Also, the DRH is getting another attachment called the Hollow Ammunition Accessory. Increases magazine capacity and lowers mobility. I think this is the 30 round OTM mag. They've also stated that they are adding a bunch of new modes inside of the night maps, like Demolition, Multi-Point Occupation, and Struggle for Stronghold? Huh? All right, let's get into the juicier changes to balancing. Improves the accuracy of bullet scattering when Cordite opens its sights or opens its lands. Interesting, so a Cordite buff should be pretty decent. Improve the Razorback's recoil stability, reduce horizontal recoil, and increase the damage range at mid-range. So it's finally going to differentiate between itself and the PDW because before they were identical. Good change. I like it a lot. Improve the trajectory of the Finnick when you're continuously shooting. Reduce the horizontal recoil. So it's getting a buff. The Finnick is getting a buff, ladies and gentlemen. The most annoying overpowered Kimbo gun in the game is getting a buff. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> However, it is getting a slight increase to its peak recoil. So it's like a nerf and a buff. 50-50. A rework, you would call it. Ladies and gentlemen, the AK-117 is getting a buff. Fantastic. Increases damage to the upper body and strengthens medium range combat. Ooh! baby. I'm super happy about this, dude. The OG Season 1 Goat Gun is back. A buff for the BK-57 by improving its stability while shooting. Nice. Definitely a good change. I'm excited to use it in Season 12. The KRM, by 15 and Echo are all getting buffs by reducing either the range or the damage that they put out. So uh, shotguns are going down the drain and I've got to say, I'm kind of happy about it because I hate being one shot by a freaking shotgun. Rest in peace all those people who only used shotguns in ranked. You may be gone, but your terrible ways and the annoying one-shots will never be forgotten. So the Transform Shield now takes increased damage by grenades, and it also takes damage from electromagnetic pulse grenades, which are EMPs, the things that nobody ever uses. Definitely a good change. Thumbs up for me. Classic Annihilation mode is being added into the ranked match. This is going to be interesting. A new mode into ranked. You guys know that's what I like to play. So this should be pretty interesting. Increase the points for winning strategy for stronghold mode and multi-point conquest mode. I'm not sure if that means that they're going to be added into ranked also because they were right below when they talked about the ranked match. But if they are, that means we're going to be getting multiple new modes inside of ranked, which is amazing. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've covered the entirety of the Season 12 update across the last week on this channel. If you're excited, leave a like, subscribe for more daily Call of Duty mobile content, and live your life with purpose. Bye!